Okay, next I'm going to show you how to make a basic shape that you can use for a lot of different things. People will use this for, like, if you're making a cornfield or a garden or a basketball court or even a football field. So I already did two of that shape, and I just put them on the side, and I'm going to show you how to do it in the center um, just because I want to show you different varieties of what you can do with it. So the first thing you do is you have your ruler so it's parallel with the bottom of your paper, and you make a line as wide as you want that plot to be. Then you connect the right side to the vanishing point, and you connect the left side to the vanishing point. Okay, then you are going to make a line where you want it to end. And you erase any extras. Some people try to do this sometimes behind their house, but that doesn't work very well because you only can see a little corner of it, so you can't really tell what it is. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a couple different variations of this. If you wanted to make this into like a basketball court, you could make a couple hoops, make a line, a line, smiley face at the bottom, frowny face at the top, and then draw the back of your hoop. and then make your net hanging down. You won't be able to see a ton of it. You can make the pole thinner or thicker, it's up to you. And then over here, you're gonna draw another hoop, but since this one's further away, it's gonna be smaller. Usually to make the hoop, I do the letter D on its back, kind of. Square inside. an oval, and then I draw the net. Okay, and then think about the lines on a basketball court. You can add as much detail or as little detail as you want. The center court line will be parallel with the bottom of your paper. Okay, next thing is I'll show you how to make a garden or a field. Um, usually with the garden, you can go ahead and just add plants that are going to be like the height that you want them. Okay. If you wanted a border around your garden, you could make a line that goes here and then make the exact same shape as this, but you just make it go around your first shape. Okay, to do a cornfield, what I usually have people do is you're going to use this line right here and you're going to turn it into a rectangle. So this will be the bottom line of your rectangle. So make a line that goes up, and a line that goes up, and then a line that goes over. Then you're going to connect the tops of those to your vanishing point. And now you know how long the corn's gonna be. So the corn in the front is gonna be more detailed. And then the stuff on the side's gonna be detailed. And then the stuff inside is gonna be a lot less detailed. When you do this part, do it with colored pencil so that you don't have to color it later on. And then you're going to erase your lines that go to your vanishing point. Okay, the last one is going to be like a parking lot. If you have a car that goes into the parking lot or a road, you can do that. Parking lot, you don't really have to do much. And then the lines in your parking lot usually are going to go straight out. So you make one line, another set of lines, and keep going. And then, to know where they end, you're going to put your ruler on your vanishing point and draw a line. So I know that all of my parking lines will end right there. And then erase anything extra. 
You can use the shape for a lot of different things, but those are three examples.